Alrighty, time for a bit more naval action shenanigans. Um, I thought we'd look at boarding. Um, now, I already outnumber this guy two to one in crew, so this is more for the tutorial than it is for the uh, actual fantastic event of me boarding uh, Andre the Prick, as he's known to his friends. So, um, boarding is a super important part of the game. Um, I'm just going to load Grape um, on my right and chain on my left. So boarding is a super important part of the game. Uh, it's particularly important if you're after some new ships. Um, it's one of the cheapest ways to get new ships. Um, historically, it was almost always preferable to capture a ship than sink it. If you think about these ships, they took thousands of man-hours to put together. And I'm a bit far for grape, actually, on this side. I'm going to swap this side to chain, but we'll do some grape shots. So grape shot uh, is horrible stuff. It's basically buckets of nails uh, and shrapnel. And the whole point of grape shot is to kill crew. Now, the closer you are with grape shot, the better. Um, so, how do you board? And uh, so, there's a mini game at the moment. I have to say, I'm not its biggest fan. So, the first thing is you can't board until you've got your opponent's ship down to three and a half knots. So, both you and the opponent have to be running at three and a half knots. And actually, I'll swing around so I can get some shame on top. Um, now, there's a couple of ways of doing that. One is you can kind of ram them. That'll slow them down a lot. Um, probably not the most important thing to do. The other thing you can do is you can shoot their sails out. So you'll see here I'm firing chain. It's basically two balls uh, held together by a, a strap of metal. And the whole purpose of chain is to turn your opponent's sails into a tea bag. And then they can't catch the wind. Uh, the other thing you can do. And I'll see if I can show you this in a minute. And this is much harder, but well worth practicing, especially when you've got an easy... I'm going to go to ball on the, my right side. When you've got an easy opponent like this, uh, this is the easiest mission I can do um, at my current level. Uh, you can try and demass them. Um, one of the things you possibly don't know in this game is that the hitboxes are actually very accurate. Especially when you've got shot loaded. The hitboxes are very accurate. So, for example, typically on most ships, if you hit here just behind the cabin, sort of behind where the captain sits, uh, that's quite often where the powder's kept, and you're most likely to do a bit of damage uh, that can cause a fire. Obviously, aiming at the sails um, passes up their sails. So you'll see. You'll see on the top right corner up here, where it says sales, he's already down to 84%. Um, and like I said, one of the things you can do is you can try and demass them. That's a brilliant way of slowing them down. Um, in fact, in bigger battles, if, if you're in a little shitty ship like this, um, trying to kill their masts is one of the best things you can do for the fleet. Uh, it won't get you many points. Uh, and, and again, all you do is you just aim at the mast. Now, this I'm too far out to aim at the mast here. But you aim at the mast, and when you hit the mast, you take HP off it. Um, I need to be much closer for this to work. You take HP off it, and uh, eventually uh, it will fall over. If, not, if you aim like that, it won't. Um, so let's get in nice and close now and do some... Uh, do some side two. Uh, see if I can demast him. I'll just spend a couple of salvos trying to do this. Um, this guy almost can't sink me, to be honest. Uh, he's in such a shitty little ship. Um, if you're fighting traders, you can spend as long as you want doing this, because they don't tend to have gun ports. Um, but it's good practice, like I say, if you're in a little ship and it's a big battle, perhaps it's a fleet battle, a port battle, something like that, and there's big ships around, they're not going to be focusing on you. Now, yes, you can plow into the side of them to get lots of XP, because who doesn't want lots of XP? But, 
You do your nation better if you try and demass them. Uh, the other thing is that when you do demass a ship, um, your whole crew cheers. So that's very cool, isn't it? Uh, so I'll, I'll do a, a round trying to demass them. Um, and in a minute I'm going to get into the boarding mini game. Um, now, what you might want to do is set your rolling fire to, say, front to back mode, so you know it's going to be in a predictable fashion. Hold your red doodah right in the middle of the mast. And, uh, and then give it a shot. And keep missing. Let's get on with the boarding thing, because this isn't going to go to plan as far as uh, taking out its masts are concerned. You can only kill the masts with um, with ball. You can't you can't chain or grate masts down. So we're going to move in nice and close. We're just going to chain his his sails down. Uh, try and get his speed. Try and turn him into the wind. Maybe get his speed down below three. Now, before you start boarding, when you get into boarding, you basically get into a, a, a little mini-game um, where you have to choose a type of an attack, and then based on that attack, um, it's a paper, rock, scissors type thing, so you can do fire muskets, and they can do defend, and things like this. Uh, and when you do it, you, you spend a resource, um, and that resource is... Uh, is your preparedness for the next attack. Um, well, that was turning into me, cheeky little monkey. Um, it's their preparedness for the next attack, uh, and your preparedness for the next attack. So you need to save up uh, effectively your resource points so that you can pull off the best attack. Um, so before you begin, before you decide, hey, now's the time to uh, board, um, what you should do is you should do it me. Oh, there you go. I hit the mass there. You should choose uh, the boarding thing here, and I'll do that shortly uh, once I've got this guy's sails down a bit more. Um, and what that'll do is it means when you open up the combat, when you open up the boarding combat, you open it up uh, effectively, fully prepared for boarding, and that will give you some advantage when you fight against him. I know I'm going into the wind here, but that doesn't bother me too much. I'm not that fussed about the damage I'm taking either. At the moment, I'm just trying to rip his sails down a bit further. The same that, I'm now going backwards. That's a bit of reverse lock, I think. Um, so, the other thing to know when you're thinking about boarding someone, especially if it's a bigger ship, little ships like this don't matter, but as you get in behind the ship, um, in fact he's demoing for me now, and you shoot the stern, you shoot their armour off the stern at the back here, and then what you do is you do a lot of grape shotting, uh, and as you grape shot along the opposing ship. He's effectively going to try and do it to me now. Just pop into this side and turn into him. And I'll see if I can get behind him and show you what I mean. Oh, sails in it. Oh no, I've got one there. sails there. Um, yeah, so ideally you get behind your opponent, so he sort of opened it up now there, and you aim here, and you strip away his rear armour until this armour here has disappeared, and then once that armour's disappeared, you start doing grape shots down the back of his ship, and that maximises casualties. Um, and if he starts off with more crew than you, that's about the best way to strip his crew away. Right, let's close in and uh, we'll tell the guys to prepare for boarding. Uh, I'm 
chain here. Now you'll see there my boarding preparation counter started going up. That'll give me an advance when I get into the mini game, uh, an advantage when I get into the mini game. So he's in the wind at the moment. If I can get close enough to him, uh, which I might be able to, I think he's going to get out of it before me. So we'll change sails again. See now his sails are down below 50%. Spin around and then we'll go in to join him uh, in a second. Uh, that's closing on him now. Uh, sales are down to 50%. Yeah, great shot in the stern of the boat. Once you've taken his armor down, now he's going to pass me behind. So I'm going to quickly, I'm going to see if I can turn so I can meet him. Uh, quick shot at his mast as we go past. So he bangs away hitting me. So my boarding prep is almost at max now. Stop, let him catch up with me. Um, typically, if you're doing a boarding action, you ideally want to have at least a third, if not half as many men as him as a minimum. To be safe, you really want double. Um, and now what I'm trying to do is close really tight on him, and I'm going to try and force him into the wind. Uh, I'm taking a funnel in doing this uh, experiment. Right, so he appears to be stopping again. I'm actually going to run across the front of him just to try and get this chute sorted. I'm going to cause myself some leaks in the process. G. Right, so press G and we're pulling him in. And now we're into the boarding game. So, it's 15 seconds per round. Um, you choose an action. Um, let's say we're preparing. Alright, we're hooked in. So you choose an action. And then just before it, he's choosing an action. Now, Brace sort of, you see I've got lots more preparation and morale than him. Brace uh, is like your default, and then I'm going to fire my deck guns now. And you'll see I've killed seven of his guys. Uh, he's going to fire his, his deck guns uh, himself next turn. Uh, I'm going to brace now. I'll just go through these and I'll, I'll skip around. So, brace is good against sort of volley and fire deck guns, um, it's very weak if they defend. Um, so again, I'm bracing, but then at the last minute here, I'm going to swap to attack. So wait, 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 go attack now. And he didn't have time to fight me. Um, so you'll see there I killed 12 of his crew. So we go brace again. Uh, and what we might do now is fire grenades at him, because he's firing grenades at us. So we fire grenades, and again, so three to one. Uh, I'm just going to brace this turn and just go through it. So defend, if you press defend, it's good against them using the attack or the uh, uh, musket volleys. Uh, attack's very good against musket volleys or fire, fire grenades. Now attack's gone out. I don't have enough preparation to do an attack. I'm going to fire deck guns again. And uh, you'll see his morale's coming down. Uh, his crew numbers are coming down, so we stay in brace. We haven't got enough preparation to do these things again, so I'll just keep going through the different options. Musket volley is very good against defend. Um, it's okay against firing deck guns, so I'm going to do a, a musket volley now. I'm just going to wait to see what he does now. So I'm just going to brace this turn, 
And then next turn I'll do another attack, or I might fire my deck guns. We'll see if the... Uh, okay, they're not back up. They're still reloading. So he's bracing. Um, so we'll do a musket volley now. All right, so we killed another couple on his team. He's down to 25 crew. Oh, and by the way, this is where having your um, your upgrades is really useful. Um, he's firing deck guns at me. That's going to hurt a bit. Um, if you've got your upgrades, cutlasses, marines, uh, swords, all these type of things, um, um, then they're very good um, to assist with this. All right, so we're going to do an attack next round. My morale's still much higher than his. He's bracing. Um, you can change it one time. It's best to wait right until the end. Oh, I can't do a time, so I don't have the thing for it. So we'll fire our deck guns. Killed a few more. His morale's dropping. If morale drops to zero, uh, your opponent's ship automatically surrenders. My preparation's a bit low, so I'm going to stay bracing. Something to be very wary of is if you see him choose disengage, um, then you've only got four turns until um, he begins to disengage. So it puts a bit of a timer on things. He's firing deck guns. Um, and we're going to do an attack. No, we're not, because I missed the better timer. Uh, we'll fire grenades. Alright, so we fire grenades. We killed three each. You'll see so far I've killed 44. Uh, 24 over here. Um, so we'll just embrace. We're waiting for the timer to come round. Alright, so I'm going to probably attack. He's going to fire grenades. We're going to attack. Alright, and this might finish him off with any luck. Yeah, so that finished him off. Um, now... Uh, let's just be clear on a few things while this is just hanging around, and I'm probably going to sink. Um, so the battle's over, I can leave. If you're in mid-battle, if you're in the middle of a fight, you could now choose to board the enemy ship. Um, if you board the enemy ship, effectively you're sailing his ship and not yours. Um, that's a good idea, like, I'm half sunk here, by the way, I've just noticed I've, I've, I've half, half sunk. Um fighting around. Um, the other thing you can do is you can send his ship back to your port and then you can scrap it or you can sell it or you can repair it and it can become your next ship. Um, when you leave a battle after capturing a ship, um, you'll see there I've got, I've got a pickle now. Um, so that's very good. So I can click on the pickle. I can take command. Uh, send to Admiralty doesn't work right now. Um, I suspect that'll be something so you get lots of rewards um, uh, for uh, maybe uh, sending to Admiralty. Maybe the British give you XP or something along those lines, or it raises your rank or something along those lines. Um, send to Outpost, which is what I'm going to do, sends it back home, and then I can choose to sail it or sell it or scrap it, which I'll probably do in this case, or you can sink it. Uh, I don't know why you do that because you're a bastard. Uh, now, before I go, a couple of things with boarding. If you're doing it mid-battle, be careful you don't take control of the ship. It will offer you, after the battle, it will say, I think it's press X, and you only want to do that if you want to actually sail the ship you're sailing, that you've captured. Um, the, the ship that's left will just sit dormant in the battle with a white flag on it, but you have to be aware other people can now go and cap that um, ship, so you can get chain chain capping going on. Um, so just to recap, because um, that was all a bit hazy, I suppose, because it was all happening while I was trying to record it. Next time, maybe I'll just record it and then voice it, but that's too much time, eh? Um, you want to use chain to take his sails down so he can't run away and he's nice and slow. 
Um, and then ideally you want your guns to shoot the back side off the ship to open up the stern. And then with grape you want to get nice and close and do a bit of stern camping and just grape repeatedly across the ship. Uh, it's great to do with a couple of you because you can kind of both snake by in an S shape and just keep graping his ass. And you'll see when you're graping you're knocking chunks out of his crew numbers. Ideally double the crew is the best thing to go in with. Um, worst case you've really got to look at going in with at least a third more than he has. Um, before you decide to do the boarding action remember to press 9 so you build your preparation up. Um, and then just remember it's uh, a rock paper scissors. I'll put a link into one of the games labs uh, pages that give you the sort of rules for this mini game. I'm kind of hopeful they replace it with something more excitement later on. Um, but basically Brace is a good defense against them firing the deck guns and musket volleys and grenades and things. Imagine it, you're hiding behind the, the boardings of the ship. Uh, it's very weak against attacks and even it does nothing against defend. Uh, defend itself is very effective if you're attacked or counter-attacked. It's, it's vulnerable to musket volleys. Um, and it's uh, nothing with uh, brace. Attacking rips musket volleys apart, nails fire grenades, uh, smashes through brace. Um, attack also um, is okay against deck guns, um, but it does nothing or not much against defend and you'll take high casualties. <coughs> Each of these things has a preparation cost. You can hold your mouse against the info on the little mini game to see the prep cost. And they effectively all have cooldowns before you can use them again. Brace in a way is your recharge. Because um, it has no, uh, no preparation cost. Uh, for me the two OP ones are the um, fire deck guns. That seems to do a lot of damage. Uh, it doesn't matter what you've got loaded in your ship at the time. Uh, so fire deck guns is very useful. And the other one that's very useful is attack, but you want to try and time your attack uh, for when he doesn't have any preparation left. And if you can, as I did with that guy there, you saw I got his morale below 40. Typically, if you attack with overwhelming numbers when their morale is around 40 or below, you tend to either wipe them out or wipe their morale out. Anyway, that was a bit of a look at the paper, rock, scissors that is boarding. Um, remember to send to outpost um, and off she goes. Um, the other thing to know is that um, as far as I'm aware you get less gold when you capture a ship. So probably be aware of that. Right, I better go and repair myself after taking a shellacking while I'm trying to do a, uh, a vid. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Press subscribe if you're interested in more naval action shenanigans and uh, I will catch you.